In this video, we'll be showing you how to send data from a Snowflake query to a Google Sheet. Let's dive right in. We'll start off our video inside of Snowflake and show the query that I'm going to download as a CSV to send over to Google Sheets here in just a moment. Um, you can see it's just a, an example order table from Snowflake that has order key, customer key, so on and so forth. So let's jump over, let's jump over into Shipyard and show how we can make this process work. Um, so, so inside of Shipyard into our Fleet Builder, I'm going to search for our Snowflake blueprint so you can see we have a store query results as a csv that's the one we want to use so i'll click it and it's going to create a vessel for us over here in the fleet builder as well as pop up the authorization guide if this is your first time using shipyard with snowflake i'm going to close that for right now we'll name this vessel save query as csv okay and then we just need to put all of our inputs that we get from our authorization guide here grab my password account name warehouse database, schema, and I'm just gonna grab that query from Snowflake. Um, I have a limit 100 in there. Uh, we're, we're not limited by any, any type of rows uh, inside of Shipyard here. I'm just doing it just to save some time for our example video here. Uh, we're gonna name our file test.csv. Um, as you run this in production, you'll obviously name that something uh, more specific about what, you, what your process is doing here, but test.csv will work for this. Um, and then lastly, the last thing we want to do in this vessel is we can set up email notifications for any error or a completion of an on-demand run, um, as well as guardrails for number of retries, time between retries, and runtime cutoff as well. Okay, so this vessel looks like it's good and set up. So now let's set up our Google Sheets vessel. Search for that. You can see I have upload a CSV to a sheet. I'm going to click that. Um, authorization guide is there again. Pull it up. Let's name this. Upload CSV to Sheets. Okay, so I already have a I already have a spreadsheet or I already have a Google Sheet made here. I just called it YouTube Video Example. Um, so that's what we'll call this. So YouTube Video Example. Um, you can you can specify a specific tab if you'd like, or if it's in a shared drive name. I'm I'm gonna leave this blank for now. That local file name is test.csv. So that's the name of the file that we got from that Snowflake vessel from earlier. Um, local file name will leave blank, uh, so you can set a starting cell if you'd like as well. Um, and then we need to create, we need to put in our service account. So put that in there. Um, so the last thing we need to do is we need to share our Google sheet with our service account email. Um, so I'm going to do that copy, share, give it editor access. I'm not going to notify that email address and then share it over. So now that's shared with that service account email. So let me go back into Shipyard. I can connect these together. I'm gonna name my fleet. Snowflake to Google, to Google Sheets. Okay, so now we can click Save and Finish and, and kick this thing off. So when I click Save and Finish, it's gonna take me to a page tell, telling us that the fleet has been created successfully. As you can see here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click Run Your Fleet. So whenever I click that, it's going to take us over to the fleet log page to kind of show us what's happening in the fleet as it's happening. Um, so I just kicked off an on-demand run inside of Shipyard. There's also two other ways that you can kick off runs inside of Shipyard as well, along with the on-demand runs. You can use our trigger tab here. Um, so inside that trigger tab, we have, you can schedule. So you, we have a scheduling trigger that you can do based on time. Um, so that's, you know, hour, minute, week, month, day. Um, and then we also have an API trigger as well that you can use to kick off any fleet run using an API call. Um, so you can see that in our Gantt chart here, you can see that first vessel, the save query as CSV is green. So it's already finished. I can click inside of that to show the output um, that's given from the run. You can see the environment variables that we set here, um, as well as the password being hidden from the user. So not anyone can just look at your logs and see your, uh, see your password for your uh, for your Snowflake accounts, you can see the, the query that we ran, as well as it telling us that it successfully stored the query results as test.csv. Um, so I can go back here and you can see that the, the second vessel is run, is finished as well. You can see that um, it's successfully uploaded to YouTube video example. I can click over into that Google Sheet and you can see here is that data that we saw inside of Snowflake earlier now inside of our Google Sheet. Um, so again, in this video, we talked about how you can store a query as a CSV from Snowflake and then store that information inside of a Google Sheet. If you have any questions about this solution or any other potential solution, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. You can go to shipyardapp.com to start building powerful workflows just like this for free. Want to see us tackle more solutions? Check out these related videos.